Hey guys, so on this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a grid so that you can view multiple charts on Webull and not just one chart. Because sometimes if you're that person who trades in the morning, uh, on the morning volatility, you might have like four or five watch lists and you need to see how all of them are doing so that you can pick the one that's your trade of the day. Um, like we do in the community. So first of all, before we do anything, go right here to your settings and you wanna scroll down and make sure to check for update. You need to have an updated version of Webull. Click on it. Once you do that and you have um, updated version of Webull, close that. You're gonna come here and what you're gonna do, you go to your chart right there then hover to the grid. You see the grid right here. Click on it. Right now you're set on one chart. So you can decide to add two charts or you can come to this quadrant right here and you can even add, you know, nine charts if you wanted to or you just do four if you wanted to. Now you see how there's so much class, you know, um, too much stuff on the you know, indicators, what you can do, go back to one chart to remove all these numbers and stuff. Click on the eye icon right there. If you want to remove the VWAP and the super turn and everything, click on these hide indicators arrow right there. So now if you go back to the grid of the four hour, now you have much better view. So I was watching Zoom. I was watching DocuSign and Coin. Don't forget, you can hide that. You can hide that. You can hide all that stuff so that you have a clearer view. Um, this is so important if you don't want to miss a move in the morning. Now, Something else, you want to make sure you check off your time frame. So you have to click on each individual um, chart, click on it right there. And then you see it's set on one minute. You come right here at the bottom of the range and pick your range right there. Pick your range. So in the morning when the market is just opening up, you will be able to now view which chart is moving, right? So that you can get on the trade of the day that we have in the community. Uh, today we had um, a bunch of good ones, but I don't want to go into that because I don't want to waste your time. Anyway, so once you're done with that, if you want to look at a single grid, you go ahead and do that. Guys, that's, if, that's it for now. Bye-bye.